I am out in the garage again this morning. I thought I would do a little update on the 51 Henry J. The uh, weather yesterday, it got up to about 52 degrees right after lunch, and the humidity was about 25%, somewhere in that area, which was pretty good. Uh, but the temperature was a little low, about 10 degrees low to be painting. But I painted anyway. I can't wait. That's just me. So, uh, but what I did, I uh, I kept the body, all the body parts that I was going to paint. I kept it all in the house and brought it out just before I started to paint. And then I set the cans of paint, or the can of paint. Uh, I kept it in the house also. But when I brought it down into the garage, I stuck it in a little pan of warm water for about five minutes to let it kind of warm up before I sprayed. And then I would step outside. I was going to shoot this out in the shed because there was some wind yesterday, but I, it was just too dark in the shed. I couldn't see. So I had to go back to my regular routine of just stepping outside the back door of the garage and uh, hitting it with the paint and bringing it back in the garage and putting it under a plastic tub. But here's what I've got, and I am kind of disappointed didn't come out all that great um, let me start off with this first I painted this some days ago and the floor pan the color the orange came out really really good now there was no primer on this this was just over the white that came out really nice looking and this is the paint that I use right here this is the uh, to me, a TS-56 Brilliant Orange. <clears throat> now, when I started shooting the orange paint on the body parts, that's when it all got kind of crazy, I guess. If you look here on the body, and I don't know if it's going to pick it up, look how chunky that is. And I know it's because it was windy yesterday, and I got some trash in the paint and you know when you try and paint in the wind you tend to lay on paint a little bit too heavy and I think that's what I've got here it's just really thick chunky looking I don't know if I can save this or not um, the body is the better one um, and also the paint did not cover I used about a full can of this paint and it, look at this, I, I, this was primed in gray because uh, I primed it in gray so I could uh, see all the spots I missed in, in uh, sanding. But look, you can see the gray under that orange, even with all that paint on there. I just, I don't, I just don't get it. Maybe you guys can leave me a, leave me a comment down below and let me know. <laughs> I'm not the best on painting. I've, painting is my nemesis. I'm still trying to figure it all out. But look how chunky this is. I just, I'm really disappointed. I don't, I just don't know if I can save this or not. I'm, I'm, it's ruined anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take some, maybe some 1,000 grit sandpaper and, and lightly hit this. And then, uh, I don't know if I need to paint it again. or If I lightly hit this, you guys let me know. Look at that, where I missed it. So it's, it's gonna have to be painted again. But anyway, I'm just curious, if this paint had covered really good and it was just chunky, can I get away with doing a light sanding and then hit it with clear, will the, will the, will the paint finish look okay? Or after you color sand it, do you need to hit it with paint again? I really don't know, I'm not that good with the paint, so you guys let me know. But at any rate, uh, this was kind of, <laughs> in my eyes, this was a disaster. <clears throat> I got the uh, little pieces for the door. Look at that. Look at the paint. Look. See, that's just from a little bit too much wind outside and trying to force the paint onto the parts and got it too thick. And I knew better, but, hell, I couldn't wait. <clears throat> oh, a better note is... Uh, I have this blown engine that came in the Revell 29 Ford Roadster that I was thinking about maybe using over here on the 
Henry J. I don't know. Uh, it looks like it might fit. I may have to uh, uh, hog out a little bit of the transmission cross member there to get that tranny to go down in there. But it looks like it might fit. I'm not sure about the headers or anything yet. Where they, if they would hit the uh, hit the side or well, it'd be over here. Hit the side over here or not? That's I'd have to do a mock up to see. But uh, and I'd have to cut that transmission brace too to do the mock up. I hate to cut that and then it doesn't work out and I've got a big cutout spot. But anyway, uh, this was about the paint. Uh, I'm kind of <coughs> disappointed in it. Here's the stock engine that comes in the kit. Uh, <laughs> this engine leaves a little bit to be desired. These headers are, I don't even, they don't even look like headers. But uh, I did paint up the, the blower assembly and the intake. Uh, I, I painted that and uh, I really like that paint. That's that to me is TS30 silver leaf. I really like that paint. That really looks nice. And then the uh, valve covers, I painted those black. I painted those with the, uh, to me, a TS6 matte black. I really like how those come out in that color. They look pretty good. Both those colors are nice. I really like those. But anyway, I don't know if I'm going to use that engine or try and modify the frame to put this blown engine out of the 29 Roadster. That's uh, still going through my mind. I'm Right now I'm kind of concentrating on this paint. Just really don't know what to do with it. I don't, <laughs> that can's about empty. I used almost a full can uh, to get paint on this body and uh, that's a lot of paint. And most of it was lost in the wind, I believe. But uh, I don't know what to do here. I, I guess I'm gonna take one of these doors maybe. I'm gonna do a little experiment and color sand it with 1,000. Look how chunky that is. Color sand it with 1,000. And then uh, maybe I'll, I'll, well, I don't wanna mess it up, but I'm gonna have to do, do a little bit of sanding anyway. So I'm gonna hit it with some 1,000, see what it looks like and see if it messes up the finish or, or just what happens with it. I really don't know. You guys that uh, are good with this painting, uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know uh, what you think about this paint and, and uh, what what I should do, uh, the color sanding, uh, can you color sand and then hit it with some clear over that or do I need to color sand and repaint or just what do I need to do. Alright fellas, that's about it.